exciting feature right here on AgriNation and my oh my I am super excited about the agri star that we are about to meet now this man is an army officer turned media personality that has been ruling the airwaves successfully for years now he is also self-proclaimed blackest man in Africa every single person's uncle Napier wakatoto nasikia wimbo wa rumba he comes to mind I don't think he needs any more introduction we are in Fred's ranch meeting uncle Fred Ombachi macho card the farmer nataka sana aturoge roge na mambo ya ukuliwa hello uncle Fred karibu how are you good welcome to Fred's ranch he's senior in Kajado come on now the place to be I'm so happy to be here feel namna gani yeah can I can I even go with this one home we can talk we can talk and it's a Christmas Christmas yeah all right just so we will be talking yours sincerely Christmas uh -huh. yes we'll be talking about Christmas <laughs> and every other aspect we yep. have in the farm but for now ningependa sana tuanze na mambo ya shambani au vipi eh ukitaka popote pale ukitaka twende kwa shamba sawa ukitaka twende kwa ngombe sawa ukitaka twende kwa kuku sawa tuanze na shambani Before we even start talking about the farm and everything that is happening here. Yeah. Yo Gina, the blackest man in Africa. Ili toka wapi? We used to go to school when we were young and we could mix with people who were married, others with children. And uh, we had teachers some of them very rough. So in class when you make noise a uh, teacher walks in and finds you making noise then uh, sometimes he looks at some of the kids and says you you black ugly dirty little thing oh, you know no. stop making noise others who were well, familiar but they were crying thinking that being black is almost like being ugly mm -hmm. so i said when i grow up i'll fight this thing oh. so when i got a an opportunity to be in the media mm -hmm. i said i'm going to call myself the blackest man in africa mm -hmm. because that way then people will understand that being black mm -hmm. is just skin deep mm -hmm. it's got nothing to do with being ugly or being beautiful it's just being human now speaking of fred's ranch where we are standing on right now mm. please tell us the history uh -huh. we bought this land in 1993 we thank god uh we took a loan from agricultural finance corporation and we bought this uh, land when it was really big 57 acres mm -hmm. uh but uh, later on we had to sell part of it because we were having a problem repaying our loan and the bank was coming at us with ham and tongs and we realized we have to discard some of it uh and uh, save anything we could and now we have 15 acres mm -hmm. which is still fine by me mm -hmm. totally yeah All right we planted every single tree you see here mm -hmm. every single one except weeds was planted by my wife sophie mm -hmm. and myself mm -hmm. and so it's been a long journey mm -hmm. from 1993 mm -hmm. till now 2020 Three. Three. Um, did you have the vision of having a ranch or what was the motivation of getting this piece of land at that time in 1993? The motivation was my landlady. She kicked us out and we decided we we'll look for a place however bad it is if we can afford it mm -hmm. and make it home. Mm -hmm. So what you see here mm -hmm. are uh, there's items that we have planted mm -hmm. food items mm -hmm. from uh, maize mm -hmm. pollen uh, spinach carrots carrots mm -hmm. because you must taste our carrot and beetroot juice fresh from the farm so um, this is a uh, uh, dania mm -hmm. these are calcales mm -hmm. these are grapes mm -hmm. they are not ready but these are grape trees mm -hmm. uh grape fruits mm -hmm. Skuma. Mm -hmm. Skuma is good for you. Mm -hmm. All And right. Of course the purples mm -hmm. and the pumpkin. Mm -hmm. We got uh, maize mm -hmm. on our vertical garden here. Mm -hmm. You can see terere there doing very well. Sukuma doing very well. Mm -hmm. Spinach doing Spinach. very well. Mm -hmm. But our our strawberry didn't do that well. Mm -hmm. So we have to repeat this. Mm -hmm. If this was at a wider 
you know, level where you have planted the entire garden and the strawberry mm -hmm. hasn't done well, that's a disaster right there. Losses. It's a big loss. Mm -hmm. What it means here is that the strawberry required mm -hmm. certain type of soil which we, or of certain ingredients, certain minerals, which are not in this soil. Mm -hmm. And because we did not use an agronomist mm -hmm. to help us out, because agronomists are not there. You know, the government is supposed to provide that. It has not done that. And what is the advantage of this vertical method? Of the advantage plant? of the vertical garden is for people who don't have enough land like we do and who need to eat their own farm produce especially vegetable, mm -hmm. then, you know, you can have a bigger harvest within a smaller area. Mm -hmm. What led you into agriculture? First, I come from Gusi land. In Kisi, it is all green everywhere you go. That is how we found it, and that is how we like it. So when I, my wife and I came to this dry area, we felt that we want to make it green. And how do you make it green? Mm -hmm you plant trees. Mm -hmm. So we invested on tree planting. In fact, initially we didn't even have water. I remember we used to go to, I had a pickup and we could go to a river, fill the pickup with drums of water and come with those drums here, uh, put water in bottles. And when we plant a tree like that one, we put a bottle there as form of drip irrigation mm -hmm. until much later when we sunk a borehole to assist us mm -hmm. to do bigger and larger tree planting and also farm produce. Mm -hmm. We knew it was not going to be a walk in the park, mm -hmm. but uh, it had to be, a, you have to purpose to do it. Mm -hmm. And as for farming, my wife and I love farming. We love eating from our farm. When you plant, mm -hmm a crop, mm -hmm. you plant a seed, like this mulberry, mm -hmm. okay? You plant it, you see it germinate, mm -hmm. you keep watering it, you weed it, you put more mbolea, mm -hmm. you see it growing, make, you know, having leaves and what have you. The feeling, I can't explain, mm -hmm. is like asking a mother how it feels to see a baby a grow. Baby grow. Yeah. Now you have spoken about how you eat straight from your farm. Yes. Is this also what supplies food to the ranch? The Correct. Restaurant? Everything you see, including this mint. So it does save you a lot of costs because now everything from the farm goes to your restaurant. Well, you could say that mm -hmm. it does. For us, it is not the cost mm -hmm. uh, that, that goes into it. Mm -hmm. It is the beauty of sharing what we eat in my house with the customer who comes to Fred's ranch. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. For me, that's when, when I see a customer eating, if it is leek, leek soup, mm -hmm. I know it's coming from our leek right there. Mm -hmm. Then I say, this is good. Mm -hmm. You understand? To give us a little bit of tips on what you think has given you that longevity and relevance and still, we still want to listen to you even after years and years. You know, I've been in this media space for a considerable period of time and uh, it's an exciting space, but it is also very dangerous. You can implode just like that. So for me, I keep on learning from my listeners. Mm -hmm. I listen to my listeners even when they don't talk mm -hmm. by the way they behave. And I do a lot of research to know which music, which song that mm -hmm. people love. Kama unataka kukatika ni ngoma gani, unakatika kama unataka kukaa tu na mrembo wako, mshike tu kwa rumba kidogo style. You know, unaniele. Yeah. I want you to give us your favorite yeah. song. Give us a tune. Give us yeah. a tune, Uncle. Uncle, Iko, to party, Iko, to party Iko, Iko, to party Iko, yango. To party Iko, yango. Iko, 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 some of the challenges you faced as a farmer come again. There are many challenges that a farmer faces. The government must know the difference between mama mboga, mwenye mboga. All right? 
na broker. That is the problem with this government and other governments before. They see the lady selling mboga in the market or the man selling onions or sweet potatoes or English potatoes in the market. Wanamona uyundie, mama mboga, ama msewa mboga. Mtu wa mboga, ni yule anaenda sokoni, ananunua mbegu, anakuja na panda, anamuagilia maji, anapalilia, mpaka inakuwa. All right? Mm -hmm. For me, that is the most important person, the farmer. Sisi ndiyo mama mboga. All right? Mm -hmm. So the problems we get, for example, this maize, ukiangalia, mm -hmm. kufika hivyo naona nini? Tumeweka hini nini? Ash. Hili kuzuia nini? Kuzuia army worms. Amba, kwa sababu sisi atu, atutaki kufanya nini? Kupiga hii madawa ambayo saa zingine ni mm -hmm. dangerous. Mm -hmm. Sasa unaona tunatumia organically, mm -hmm. eh, you know, kama ni tomatoes, kama hizi sasa. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. Kwanza nyanya ndiyo ziko na shida kubwa, mm -hmm. magonjwa everywhere. Mara kuna blight, ile ambayo inafanya matawi hii na kauka hivi, mm -hmm. ile baridi. Mm -hmm. Mara kuna zile wadudu wanaingia ndani wanaharibu nyanya so ukipanda you are always taking care of ni kama yule mtoto ambaye ni mgonjwa mgonjwa so you really need as a farmer to do a lot of homework ndio ujue kwa kama utafanya ile tunaita kupata the man ya pesa zako mm -hmm. ile tunaita breaking even breaking even yes. so if you are to speak of the support that you think the mama, mama mboga the farmer the you yes. that you think the government needs to put emphasis on what kind of support is that first when i grew up we had what uh, is called uh, field workers vets agronomists who are supposed to be available wanalipwa na serikali wanatembelea wakulima but right now if I don't have a private agronomist, I'm cooked. If I don't have uh, my own vet, I'm cooked. Because these people, you never get to see them. We must start encouraging our people to produce food. Mm -hmm. Food sufficiency is critical to any nation. Mm -hmm. In the US, in Israel, farmers are protected. Let this government concentrate on making sure that there is enough food in Kenya for people to eat. So that he mambo, tunasikia turukana hakuna chakula, iishe. But you must empower these people. Uh -huh. You talked about now the people. Urban settlements. Hapa, unaona hii ni kunde, hii uh -huh. ni managu, hii ni kitungu, kwando, hii ni pilipili hoho. You understand? Hii uh -huh. ni Call flower. No, no. You can plant things up or two. Nyumbani. Jioni unaweka kwa nyumba ili rijirani wasiju wakachukua. Mchano unaweka hapo ipate jua. And you're okay. Uncle, speak to the young man out there. Young people kindly talk to older people. Sometimes they may help you. That's one. Two. Patience, they say, is a virtue. When you are looking for a job, kindly don't be too choosy. Just do the job that is available in the interim period. Keep on looking for a better job. Mm -hmm. Secondly, mm -hmm. once you've gotten a job, if you want good life, enjoy it. In orange, mm -hmm. in lemon. Lemon. Okay? Mm -hmm. I love you. We're going to mulberry hapa. Mm-hmm. Eh, kwa lugha yangu tunaita chinke nene. Sema chinke nene. Chinke nene. Chinke nene. Matunda matamu sana. Cha nikupatia kwa mkono wa kulia ndiyo niliambiwa mzuri. Eh? Mm. Oh, so good. Ah. So, so good. Ah. Mm. We 
kwa bwana jaya bwana shukulika na hii mambo ya shamba yeah. lucas uh, lucas eya na a guy from uh, up north hey. but uh, he will explain hi lucas how are you i'm fine sasa tumekuwa tukitembea na babu lakini yes. amesema hapa wewe ndio mwenyeji yes please help us understand what is going on here na kwa nini tunatumia maka eh uh, here i've actually to dress this uh, charcoal mm -hmm. And this charcoal actually has a function here. The function number one is the charcoal actually reduces the soil acidity. Uh -huh. It uh, works like a catalyzer. Uh -huh. So the pH of the soil actually when you apply this one you will realize that this soil will go to catalyze the acidity from the soil. Uh -huh. So second it actually acts as a ni uh, emulsion it mobilizes the soil to be soft you see mm -hmm. and it keeps away pests yeah and it keeps away pests and also anything to do with germination of grass mm -hmm. it won't happen here mm -hmm. because this one kills mm -hmm. we normally use when it comes to spraying we use rabbit urine mm -hmm. for that application We normally use 5 liters of rabbit urine. You mix with 15 liters of water, then you start spray. Mm -hmm. Anything to do with aphids, white flies and other pests. Mm -hmm. Actually, you will get rid of them. We have learned so much. Yeah. Charcoal, uh, rabbit nice. urine. Yes. Good. Yes. Good. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank ah, you. a fantastic tour in Uncle Fred's ranch and we are not even done yet. Now we are moving to where we have the animals. Lead us, Uncle. Lead the way. So, so. Mhm. Mm Twenty <laughs> hapa. Hapa kwa watoto. Mhm. Ah, yeah, tende. These are the young girls. And uh, they are now having their meal. Mhm. Oh, they have names. They have names, of course. They have names. They have Casino, names. Casino Mercury. Kila mmoja mm -hmm. anapozaliwa hawezi kumaliza mwezi kabla hajapewa jina. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. And then we have the baby of the year the one who was born the day before yesterday two days old two days old do they have a name not yeah. yet baya ni mambo ya inzi lakini inzi wanafuata maziwa mhm huyu ana jina sasa tumuite tumpatie ngina ngina yes hi ngina hi ngina sasa hapa ni rabbits wanaka hapa wako pale juu mhm all right mhm can see them there taking it easy uh -huh. hapa ni geese tuko na kuku hapa wa kienyeji uh -huh. we got uh, turkeys we got guinea fowls these are the one year old babies they are just ready to eat uh -huh. yeah uh -huh. hao wengine ndio sasa wamekuwa served the other ones uh -huh. this is silage yeah uh, we bite and uh, it's uh, like 400 kgs, kgs yeah yeah mm -hmm. mm -hmm. we feed our animals with dry matter yeah the cow what's the benefit a, of keeping this bridge? just to see the beauty of it beauty. that is all yeah ndio yeah. sasa wana wana jibamba hapo kwa kuku sasa tende eh Naona hapa ni kwa mama. It has been a fantastic tour right here in Uncle Fred Machoka's ranch and we finalized of course with Mom Sophie Machoka who is in charge of poultry farming doing an absolutely amazing job with her two boys definitely dedicated we will be back to do a proper full feature so that mom can show us ule mkulima ambaye yuko nyumbani anataka kuingilia mambo hii ajue how will you move from 300 birds to over 3000 will definitely be coming for those lessons that is all we had for you on agri nation celebrating our agri star fred machoka keep watching because right here on kenya's gold we do have more for you <laughs> okay.